Oh, hello, bid. It's your boy, Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. Today, we are back with a very special video. See, I have been challenged. Yes, man, I've been challenged by the great people over at Max Aroma. They hit me up and they said, Big Bid B, we see you do all these challenges. We see you doing Ross. We see you doing Marshalls. But can you handle our challenge? And I said, Look here. You see me? Do I look scared? No, I don't. See, here's the thing. I'm never afraid. I'm like bone crusher. I ain't never scared. So I said, look here, Max Roma, what you trying to do? And they said, we got a $50 challenge, and let's see what you can get. And I said, all right. Let's do it. So I hit that site up, I did a little browsing around, a little perusing through the site to see what I could find. And I was able to lock it down, man. I was able to get it done. I got my package in the mail. It is here. It has arrived. And I think I killed this challenge, man. I killed it because I was able to buy all, yeah, like I bought a bunch of empty Max Aroma sprayers. <laughs> no, man, now, all jokes aside, this is something they sent me a while ago for giveaways when I when I do that. But no, man, all jokes aside, I was able to pick up three fragrances from them. And uh, two of them I wasn't like fully aware of. But one of them I've heard some things about. Not really heard some things about. I've smelled on someone. And this is what they told me they had on. So I figured I would pick it up now that I finally have a reason to do it. Like, so let me explain. Speaking of explaining, before I actually talk about the fragrances, man, I know some of you guys were worried about me. Like, Big Baby, what is going on with you? You are lacking your energy. Are you okay? I appreciate the concern. I am fine. Didn't do a lot of videos last week because life happens. We got busy. I apologize. And two, yesterday in Weekly Fragrance Rotation, I didn't have all of the energy because my son was asleep and I did not want to wake him up because I can get loud. But now that's out the way. You know that I'm good to go. Let me tell you about this stuff. So first off, man, I purchased again three fragrances and I made sure that I was totally under the $50 mark. I didn't want to spend anything over. So I'm explaining to you guys what I did. I came out spending $49.18. So that was uh, originally the total was $51.77, um, but I was able to find a coupon code First Aroma and that saved me 5% and that brought me under the $50 mark. So $49.18 is what I ended up with. I got two full bottles and I actually did pick up one of these testers. So let me explain. There were so many different things that I wanted to get and I was thinking about getting. And one of those came back into stock after I ordered this stuff. I mean, I, I've ordered this, I don't know. I don't know when I ordered it, but I knew I was doing this challenge since last month. I ordered it, it came in today, so I figured I would knock it out today. I want you guys to wait any longer. So the first one that I picked up is from Sean John, and this one is Sean John 3 AM. I'm hoping he told me the correct fragrance because this one to me, every time I smell it on him, I think of Molecule 01. And the first time I smelled it, I said, man, you had a Molecule 01? And he looked at me like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> he doesn't talk like that at all. That's <laughs> No, he looked at me like, what are you talking about? And I was like, ah, oh, you probably don't have Molecule or one. But this one is Sean John 3 AM. Oh, this is nice. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I definitely catch him on the dry down on this one. Right off when you spray this one, you get citrus right up front. I get like lemon, maybe some lime. It's nice, clean, and refreshing, man. I do like this one, especially on the dry down. I don't know the notes in this one, but um, when I smell this on him, man, like throughout the day, it really smells like this woody fragrance. I like it a lot. Now, how long this one lasts, I'm not sure. Have no clue, but I think it smells great. Now, I know some of you guys out there like Big Baby, the Sean John 3 AM doesn't smell great. I mean, I like it. I've smelled it on him a lot. This is his signature scent. He's wearing this day in and day out. And this is, he's the reason why I purchased this fragrance, man. Now here's the thing. Now that I've sprayed this one on skin, I do not think this one smells like Molecule 01. I'll have to do the dry down or maybe he told me the wrong one, but I do like this one. It's very citrus in the opening. It's smooth. It's maybe like a hint of leather or something in there. I do like this one though, 3 AM by Sean John. That was the most expensive one out of the fragrances that I picked up. Then I also picked up one that a lot of you have told me to pick up 
and this one is from English Laundry. Now I had to get this one in a tester because I didn't have enough money in my challenge to get a full bottle. But really the only difference is the box. You guys know what I do, the boxes and the cap, right? And I wouldn't be traveling with this one. And this one is Riviera. Now when I opened this box here that they sent it in, the whole box smelled nice and I'm assuming it's from this one here. It doesn't look like they're any leaked out or sprayed out, but it was there. Now, Riviera smells like a familiar fragrance. I can't remember the name off the top of my head right now, this YSL fragrance I have. I think Eau Electrique, this kind of reminds me of that. It has that same type of vibe, it's spicy, aromatic for sure. Now, in spraying this one and smelling this one, uh, the note that I think is familiar, maybe like, I think it may be like a, a nutmeg or something like that, but there's some spiciness and creaminess into this one. And to me, this one kind of reminds me of the YSL. Again, I think it's Eau Electric. I could be wrong. It's in there somewhere. I would have to get it and compare it, but it does remind me of something that I have that I haven't worn in a while. I think this one could work. I'm um, not bad, and obviously as a test, and I got three fragrances for under 50 bucks. I'm sure if you go to pick this one up in a standard department store like a Macy's or something, or Dillard's, because I know Dillard's for sure by me has uh, these fragrances in there, um, you're going to pay more than 50 bucks, period. And then the final one that I picked up was Insurrection Pure 2. Um, this one is an 8 ml tester, man. I had a few bucks left, and I said, hey... Let me try something. I, I wanted to pick this one up because a few of you guys told me that I need to get this one out for you guys for a review. So I figured, let me try it. See if I like it. See if it's something I want to order a full bottle of. I don't I have no clue of what this is or what it's supposed to be. All right. This is definitely an Aventus clone or one to be. So this definitely reminds me of... The Club in the Wheat Intense Man, the Ventus. I get more of that stale type of pineapple that I would get in the opening. This is not bad at all, man. I could definitely, uh, three fragrances to pick up. Um, this one, I got kind of like that Aventus type of vibe with it. I could throw this one in the pocket, put it in the car. Maybe it's a car air fresh or something. That's what I like to do with these little samples, little decant things. You know, put it in the car as an air freshener because you never really want to keep your regular fragrances in there. At least down here in Florida, man. It's hot, it's scorching, you know, you're gonna lose some of your fragrance. It's gonna kind of evaporate, etc. But this one's not bad. It's definitely a lot better than that um, Insurrection Dark. I have that one, I hated it. That cherry one, meh. Not, my, not a fan of that one. But I understand what they were doing with this one. This one is, it doesn't smell exactly like a Ventus. Um, but I understood by spraying this one that that is where they were trying to go with it And then I also got this one again the Sean John 3 a.m Super solid So yeah, man, I picked up three fragrances from Max Aroma shipping was free and I'll kind of give you a breakdown of what I paid for each one for the Sean John 3 a.m This is a hundred ml bottle and I picked this one up for less than 24 bucks So this one took a majority of the budget Picking this one up. Next was um, English Laundry Riviera. I did this one in the tester, and the tester ran me 20 bucks, 19.99. And then finally, I picked this one up for eight bucks, and I put the first aroma discount code in there, and that saved me 5%, free shipping. So I got everything with a few cents to spare in my Max Aroma Challenge, man. I like to make sure I come in under budget. All right, so there we go. That's all I got for you guys today, man. Let me know what you guys think about my pickups. Are you rocking with them? Have you smelled these? Do you agree or disagree? Should I got something different? As always, I'm your boy, Big Bear B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And look at me, man. Coming in under budget. I got a little change for you to hit the goddamn